Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Own Fox. I work as a spiritual life coach for those of you who don't know and a relationship counsellor slash coach. Um, today I'd like to discuss the topic of honesty and raw naked honesty and vulnerability in life and pertaining to relationships, okay? And I want to put it in perspective, we're coming out of an age that's been dull, dark, heavy and cloudy, okay? So most of the teachings and the relationship ambassadors, the our role models overall in society, as well as our relationship role models, have been generally very, very poor, you know? Very poor. For men it's like hard ass skinheads maybe, or people who don't want to show their um, emotions and they're just like, maybe they're even sometimes we have male role models who... The idea of success or coolness is how many girls they have sex with or you know just a whole lot of like superficial shallow stuff that's often to the degradation or derogatory towards the beautiful divine feminine or at least the woman and when I say the divine feminine I mean the energy of the best qualities of the feminine nature but also the goddess which is the, the revered esteemed beautiful inwardly and it does radiate outwardly also in sense of peace love and joy and lightness and beauty too when we have that inner beauty it radiates so our role models being bad in this video my goal in life is to be a positive role model for as a divine human being who's balanced and centered in my heart who um lives by and epitophies um Trust, faith in the universe, divine connection from the 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 the, um, the crown, but also a balance with all lower chakras and middle chakras too, and um, so you can live physically, truly in the physical world, but rooted mostly well in your roots, but also centered in your center, in your heart, which is your center, isn't it? It's a center chakra. Compassion, love, tenderness. Thoughtfulness, consideration, care. Genuine care, guys. Genuine care. So the power chakras, they're more your lower, your your belly button, slash maybe your um a little bit below chakra. This and communication chakra, your throat, it's related to empowered communication, okay? A lot of us have fear. We all have probably have fear, okay? But the question I would ask you now today, is fear getting in the way of a prosperous, romantic, thriving, godly, goddessly, powerful and abundant, rich, loving, sensual, <laughs> connected, deep relationship that you want? Whether or not you're in a relationship already, or and it's not working and you maybe you've, you've already broken up and you've gone back together you're thinking about breaking up you're just dissatisfied or unhappy or fulfilled or you're single and you want to want to ask yourself how do i attract a high vibrational partner i'll put a link to a video here which i made because i did get a request on facebook a while a little while ago and i made a video how to attract a high vibrational partner okay so i hope you enjoy that it's worth watching and I'll put up another one here, actually, also, about um, soulmate and woundmate relationships. So that's definitely worth watching as a little, this one and those two as a trio, to get you started um, on be being ready and be getting yourself ready to create and attract a really prosperous relationship. And I'm glad you're watching this video, and I, I pay my, my salutes that you are interested in get paving the way and getting yourself ready. Because... You and life and relationships, you and relationships are like a garden. We are like plants. We need watering. We need, we need to tend to it. We need to nurture it. We need to fertilize it, compost, give it attention, love and care, okay, for it to grow and to blossom. It's not something you can just neglect and hope it works out. You have to put diligent attention on your life and your relationships to create really good ones. Um... I'll put a link here also to my playlist on people, communication and relationships, okay? So, honesty, nakedness, vulnerability. 
So many of us have insecurity. We all have insecurities. Okay, everybody does. We have insecurities about our body, certain body parts, and about our fears, what we're scared of, worried about, apprehensive about. And often we don't, we're afraid to share because we're afraid. We're also afraid to share our true feelings in case of rejection, in case it's not reciprocated to another a lover or a, a romantic interest, someone who we might love or have feelings towards or think highly or, towards or admire or, or have, have feelings towards, basically. So, in time, we will want to share our feelings. And I have to say, guys, and this comes to con when, we ha when there's a difference of opinion and somebody's upset in a relationship. We do really, I think it's absolutely best to maturely share without blaming, like saying, hey, you made me upset. You made me, you make me feel bad. Because that's sort of taking away responsibility that we're a divine individual human being sovereign with sovereignty and sovereign nature and we can't just like act like a baby who's an immature unfledged human being if we unless we want to but if we're in the purpose of watching this video to grow up and mature and become empowered and prosperous we want to say i feel i feel upset i feel vulnerable i feel upset, sad i feel some anger is arising within me um, I feel frustrated I feel very disappointed and then you say something like but I'm not blaming you and it's not your fault I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it's you um, it's not your fault I'm not giving out to you you know it's this is me this I'm telling you a story about me and my life this is how I'm feeling at the moment and it, I'd like to share with you this is a mature, sensible, non-attacking way of sh m mature and adult way of sharing, okay? We take responsibility for our own emotions, but we also do honour that others have an effect on us, um, but we aren't at the whim and mercy of them either. So when we change our beliefs, when we acknowledge our fears, when we realise our attachments, that's when, generally speaking, the emotions I'm talking about will diminish and fade and even go away completely to be replaced by a different emotion as we change our perspective and our beliefs and the meaning or the definition how we define an event or situation or a person or a happening so listen to these words carefully how we define the meaning and definitions and beliefs we have about a situation or person or something Will, de will determine our emotions. One other thing, often in relationships or budding romances and life, well, relationships especially, things can trigger us and old wounds and hurts and pains and insecurities and traumas from the past can arise and we have an intense or a reaction and a feeling that comes up within us. And I feel this is very, very, very important. All of this needs to be greeted with a sense of, I love you and I accept you. I love you and I accept you, Owen. I'm sorry, yourself, I love you and I accept you, talking to yourself, anything that comes up within you, any thoughts, rage, jealousy, anger, fear, resentment, guilt, anything that comes up, give it loving love like a, you would a baby, tenderness and acceptance. Because at the end of the day, in many regards, we are also like wounded children who are trying to heal and you greet a wound with gentleness, tender and love. Not criticism, not harshness, but a divine feminine energy of love, gentleness, tenderness and compassion and nurturing. So, then you can share and you can admit, so if you're scared to share, you tentative to share, hesitant, and you can share with another person, okay? Let them into your life. Unless you feel that they're like an abusive person, they're going to hurt and take advantage and use what you say in a malicious, destructive way, then obviously they're either both too mature slash too wounded and hurt and confused and messed up in their life. So obviously that's just a little bit of common sense. But if you're trying to develop and deepen a already existing decent or good connection with somebody, Honesty is the way to go, guys. Honesty. Honesty is the way to go. And being vulnerable. 
being vulnerable in many ways is to be very strong and powerful and eventually basically invulnerable because if you have no if you are eventually comfortable with all your vulnerabilities and then they don't become vulnerabilities anymore so to speak you've risen beyond and above them your awareness and expansiveness encapsulate them like you're bigger than them it's not about overcoming um vulnerabilities is not about beating them or trashing them or overriding them it's not about any sense of triumph or battle or a resistance against them at all and that should really be the way in all of life too and that's what the orient and the, the japanese or the chinese philosophy talks about um, gracious non-resistance mm -hmm.